Now, I want to I want to take a minute because I'm not sure if people really understand where I'm coming from when I make the videos that I make. Um, Christ, I don't even know where to fucking go. I just had a brain fart. I'm not fucking racist. I have no problem talking about racial issues, but if people are too stupid to understand the difference between racial issues and racism, I, then I ain't got nothing for you. I, I don't. Um, same thing with my last video. This is kind of a continuation of my last video when I was talking about the uh, interview with Dr. Simone and, and Charlie Kirk and how a family member kind of shit on my comment without even watching the video. Um, it just goes to show you how, really how ignorant people are and how Facebook can kind of fuck up people's minds because everything is about instant gratification. You can just sit there and swipe for hours on end and just find something that you're passionate about. Somebody has some, you know, quote, some Bible psalm, and, you know, and everybody, you know, click, like, share, say something of your own, and so you can come off sounding intelligent. That's not intelligence. Any asshole can do that. Intelligence requires a little bit of work. You have to put yourself out there to fucking, you, in order to be intelligent, in order to gain knowledge, you have to be willing to accept the fact that you might be wrong on your beliefs. That's just the way it is. And that's something that I've always been willing to do. And I don't know why people aren't more like me in that sense. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. I just don't understand why people go about their day. It's like, it's like, I literally had a coworker a week after we first heard about the murder wasp say that he was like, he calls me up and he's like, Ed, did you, uh, did you talk to the homeowner on that job yesterday? I'm like, nah, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, I saw a murder wasp in the backyard. I showed it to him. Murder wasp sightings have only been in Washington state and British Columbia that, you know, as far away from Maryland as you can possibly be. But this guy thinks he saw one. This guy also believes in aliens and mermaids. You know, so, and he's terrified of COVID-19. These are the, the and, and what I've realized is he's he's a far example of people that don't really know what the fuck is going on, but he's not that far off from the average person. The average person is the same exact way. The average person does not want to educate themselves. The average person wants to sit there and watch the news for 30 seconds, I mean 30 minutes, listen to a three to five minute sound bite about a story and then they want to go to work and then regurgitate all that nonsense because they think they know what they're talking about that's not knowledge that's not intelligence it's the exact opposite and people that are stupid will sit there and have a conversation with you but people that are intelligent will immediately walk away it's like go go into a liquor store where there's a bar attached and you're standing in line to, to get your shit and you can hear somebody in the bar across the room and it's two people that are sitting there going, well, if I was president, I'd do this. This is the problem with Obama. This is the problem with Trump. Immediately, it's just like you just want to walk in there and go, shut the fuck up. You're sitting in a bar two o'clock in the afternoon on a weekday. What are you fucking talking about? Really? You have the answers to the fucking problems with all the, uh, to the world's problems? You. You have it. We should elect you. A man sitting in a fucking bar getting drunk two o'clock in the afternoon. That's the way people think. Motherfuckers think they know shit. They don't know shit. Get off your fucking ass and do something. Pause the Real Housewives of Who Gives a Fuck for 30 minutes and educate yourself on whatever it is that you care about. Whether it's COVID-19, whether it's the Asian Hornet, whether it's Trump. I, just, I, I love how people, I, I was in the liquor store the other day and, so, and a black lady was in there and she's like, get stupid presidents, get stupid results. And she was talking, but she, been, I'm not gonna go into what she was saying, it doesn't matter, but she was talking about him being a racist. I felt like saying, name one, 
time where Trump has been racist. Give me one, one example where Trump has been racist, where he's he had an audio recording of him saying something racist, where there's a video of him being racist, where he's passed. A, if, if Trump is racist, he's doing a piss poor job. The First Step program got nonviolent criminals out of prison, majority being black. The unemployment rate is lower for everybody, mainly blacks, ever in the history of this country, ever. And I'm pretty sure he's got programs, I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure he's got programs that incentivize people to start businesses in low-income areas in order to reinvigorate the fucking lower class neighborhoods to bring cash flow back into their neighborhoods. If he's a racist against blacks, he's doing a pit. He's, he's really good at hiding it. I'll tell you that. There's not one video clip or one audio clip that anybody can show that he's racist. You know why people think he's racist? Because the mainstream media said he's racist. They didn't back it up with facts. They didn't follow it up with anything. They just said he's racist. That's it. You can Google all day long. You will never find anything that supports Trump as racist. In fact, there's a lot of black people that support Trump. But of course, they're Uncle Toms. They're Oreos. White on the inside, black on the outside. They're Uncle Toms. They, they ain't, they ain't, they're, they're Aunt Jemimas. They ain't fucking, they're race traitors. That shows you how manipulative the fucking media can be and how easily manipulated people can be so you know like I watched I saw my my brother he posted a comment talking about a video I made about I'm thinking he's talking about COVID-19 and in the comment he goes yeah I usually laugh about my brother's post but this one he hit the nail on the head no I hit the nail on the head on everything I fucking say brother just because you don't do the research and nobody else does the research doesn't mean I'm wrong. You're not going to find the truth from mainstream media. You're going to find the truth from sources that nobody else is going to see unless you seek them out. That's why we're losing. Because everybody's listening to mainstream media. Nobody is paying attention to Charlie Kirk, Larry Elders, Brandon Tatum. Candace Owens, Ben Shapiro, Dave Rubin, Jordan Peterson. There are intellectual people out there that are trying to make this world a better place. There are doctors out there. The Bakersfield doctors that ran a fucking urgent care facility that were ER doctors previously, boots on the ground doctors, they posted their studies on COVID-19 months ago to Facebook and YouTube, and YouTube and Facebook removed their fucking videos because their videos we're saying that we shouldn't have shut shit down and the mortality rate is extremely lower than what we were being told it was by the government. And they removed their video. Why? This is why. And this is what they said. Their opinion was against, was in direct conflict with the World Health Organization. The World Health Organization, by the way, has been wrong every step of the fucking way since we first heard about the World Health Organization. Ventilators. 80% of people put on a ventilator die. Why? A lot of doctors, boots on the ground doctors, believe that the reason why is because your body is staying alive because it's fighting for its life. When you're put on a ventilator, the ventilator is now doing the job for you and your body gives up and dies. In New York, 66% of people that were going to the hospital, if I remember that stat right, somewhere around there, 66% of, of, of patients that were being admitted for coronavirus were people practicing self-quarantine. They were getting sick while being in their house, not from being out in public. It's like, I'm trying to fucking help people. I know only 10 people are going to watch this video. But if you share it, other people might watch it. And then they might share it. And maybe, maybe people can fucking calm down and educate themselves. 
on what the fuck is going on in this fucking, what's going on in the world, in this country. We literally have people that have family members in Indonesia, for example. That's a country I forgot to mention in my last video. Indonesia, can, the, that you can actually just go and grab fucking hydroxychloroquine off the shelves. It's an over-the-counter drug. It wasn't our country till we fucking, our government removed it. Over-the-counter. Not prescribed. Over-the-counter. Aspirin, pretty much. There's people that are fucking getting a hold of their family members in other countries and mailing them hydroxychloroquine. Our government took it away from us. Why? If people don't understand the politics behind what's going on, trying to make... I mean, mother, Joe Biden. This motherfucker... Go on YouTube and just type in Joe Biden... Uh, fucking fucked up speech you know just type in something like that joe biden out of his mind you know just type in something like that this motherfucker can't even form a coherent sentence this motherfucker is either suffering from dementia or fucking alzheimer's and he's running for president he literally went on he was talking to charlemagne the god at the breakfast club talking about if you ain't if you don't vote for joe biden you ain't black or, I mean, what world am I living in? This is a presidential candidate that just said, if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. Didn't say you're not black. He got to say, you ain't black. Got to make sure he fits in where with the fucking Negress. This fucking racist motherfucker. And black people, some black people probably will vote for him. Not because they give a fuck about his beliefs, but because they think Trump is racist and they think he's a wor he's a lesser of two evils. That Biden's a lesser of two evils. No, he's not. He's a piece of shit. I swear to fucking God, man. Like, it's, it's blowing my mind. Get off of fucking Facebook, first off. If you want to get on Facebook to share videos and just talk to buddies, that's fine. But this whole swiping up all day long, or, I mean, you know, up and fucking, you know, looking at fake news and, oh, there's a new spider that's killing everybody. Oh, there's a fucking secret police number that you can fucking call. You know, it's like, I've done proven people wrong on fake news multiple times. Multiple times. I could go into examples. I ain't going to waste my time with it, but I could go into examples. Fake news out the fucking ass on Facebook should be called fake book ain't nothing fucking real on that shit it's just a bunch of bullshit get off your fucking ass and learn something or shut the fuck up I'm sick and tired of trying to carry a conversation an educated conversation about anything and the person I'm talking to clearly knows nothing about what I'm talking about I literally got into an argument with a co-worker about Rayshard Brooks a month or so ago when Rayshard Brooks was killed, and my co-worker admitted after like 10 minutes of a back-and-forth conversation, he's like, yeah, well, I didn't watch the video. Well, what the fuck are you talking about then? If you didn't watch the video, what are we doing? It, it, this, this is the same guy that literally said... In the George Floyd, Floyd death, he said he doesn't blame George Floyd because he was the victim. He doesn't blame the cop that killed him because he should have been taught to not use those techniques. That he blamed the cops that stood around doing nothing and the police, uh, the, the, the police as a group, as a whole, for not teaching Chauvin to not use those tactics. First off, the police do teach them to not use those tactics. And second, the cops standing around doing nothing had about two or three days on a job. They were all rook they were just rookies and they got fired. He took two people, Chauvin, Floyd, two people that were directly involved in that situation becoming what it was and said that neither of them were to blame, then took the entire police group corporation, whatever you want, not corporation, I, I'm drawing a blank on what you want to call it, but 
the, the group of police, the higher ops, blame them even though they weren't there, blame the cops standing by doing nothing even though they were rookies and didn't have the rank to speak up and tell Derek Chauvin to stop doing what he was doing. He blamed them. Didn't blame Floyd, even though he was high on multiple drugs and was committing crime by selling fake money or trying to use fake money. Didn't blame Chauvin for actually killing him. He blamed the cops and the, the that were standing by and the police department for not teaching their officers to not use those types of tactics, even though they do. And then when I say it, he's like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't watch, I didn't even watch that video. I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's fucking idiots everywhere. Everywhere. It, it just blows my fucking mind. You know, I'm, I'm done apologizing. I'm not, well, I never apologize, but, and I ain't gonna fucking apologize. Fuck you. If you don't like my fucking videos, don't watch them. Kiss my ass. I'm trying to fucking help people because the fact of the matter is if you're watching this, you probably don't take the time to educate yourself on this shit. So I'm doing it for you and I'm trying to spread that knowledge. If you don't appreciate that, unsubscribe, unfriend, whatever the fuck Facebook, whatever it's called. Get the fuck off my channel. Because I'm trying to fucking educate people and tell people how to fucking better themselves when it comes to getting knowledge on what we're actually dealing with. But, and here's the thing, if you don't talk about this shit in the real world, that's fine. But if you have an opinion on any of this, whether it's COVID, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, another one, motherfucking founders literally said that they're trained in Marxist beliefs and they teach followers to believe in Marxist beliefs. Marxism is a precursor to communism. If you don't know what communism is, research Maoist China or fucking Soviet Russia. Hundreds of millions of people died under communist rule. It's never worked in the history of man, ever. Not only did it not work, they millions, hundreds of millions of people were murdered. You know, and people still support Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, the organization and the movement, hasn't done a single fucking thing to help black people. Brandon Tatum raised over three hundred thousand dollars in a few weeks to help the young black the eight, uh, the family of the eight year old black girl shot in the back near the Wendy's where Rayshard Brooks was shot and killed. Took him took him one week. He he made a video where he talked about it, where he was like, "I got to get in contact with this family so I can help them out." One week later, a hundred thousand dollars raised. That's one person. One. Black Lives Matter hasn't done shit. But motherfuckers want to sit there and hang signs on their fences and in their windows. Bums. Idiots. And if you're white and you agree with it, you're just as fucking stupid as the rest of them. Get off your fucking ass. I'm trying to fucking help. But if you're not going to fucking take the time. Take, you're taking a shit at some point today. When you shit, get on your fucking phone and research what I'm talking about. Who knows? You might actually learn something. God forbid. Or you can walk through life a complete fucking moron thinking you know shit. 